Okay, in this video, we're going to go ahead and create some custom fields for the vendors and show how that reacts on a purchase order. So I'm going to go into my vendor center here and I can choose any of my vendors. Go ahead and double click on one of them. And I go to the additional information tab and I click on define fields down here under custom fields. So I pull that up. You can see I have a couple of custom fields that we already did on the customer examples. But I'm going to do a vendor one now. So we're going to say purchasing agent. All right. And it's for on a vendor list. I'm going to make it any text for now. And I'm not going to require it on anything. Okay. Actually, we'll require it on a transaction so you can see how that reacts. Okay. So the define field is in there. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my home screen. Now I go over to the purchase orders and I have my purchase order template pulled up here. On the vendor side of things, the only template that you really have is your purchase order template anyway. So that's the only thing that could be customized with this information. So I'm gonna click on customize and customize data layout. And notice down here I have my purchasing agent field that I can add to the uh, purchase order here, my template. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. Okay, notice it adds in its default black, so I want to go to my basic customization. Select the color scheme of blue, which I have for everything else, and apply my color scheme there. Okay, and I'm going to save the rest just as is. All right, so we're going to go ahead in here and create a purchase order. Okay, all the information I'm just going to keep standard. I'm going to skip down here to my purchasing agent and put in, uh, let's say, Sally Joe. Okay, choose what we're purchasing, flooring at a rate of $50 and quantity of 100 and customer. Okay, so we're just going to purchase some floor, flooring to put in the warehouse. All right, so I'm going to say save and close on this purchase order. Okay, now note when I create a bill for this purchase order, you're not going to see any of the information. So we're going to go ahead and receive inventory with the bill from CU Electric it's telling me I have open purchase orders. I'm going to choose that purchase order I just created. Now notice that that field does not flow through to the bill. Okay, Bills cannot have custom fields because they're not printable. But what you can do is you can always show the PO here so you can pull it up and see the purchasing agent. All right. So I just wanted to make sure that that is clear. The other thing is that when you use the search feature in QuickBooks, I'm going to go ahead and update my search information. If I click in here, Sally Joe, it doesn't come back with any records. All right. However, if I use the find feature up here under edit, find, or control F, I can do a advanced find. And all the way at the bottom down here, I have my purchasing agent. And I can type in there, Sally Joe, and say find and it will pull up my purchase order. An important thing to note there too is if I type Sally Joe lowercase, let's go ahead and reset it. It'll still find it there, but if I reset it, if I say Sal Joe, obviously it's not gonna pull up just a, you know, you can't have that something in it equals or spell it wrong, but I can pull it up by just Joe. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. The other thing that you can do in the vendor center too is again, if you fill in the additional information field, Sally Joe here, uh, that is a searchable field up top here. So if I click Sally, it's going to pull up all of my Sally Joe uh, information, all my vendors that use Sally Joe. Okay. So that is creating a custom field in the vendor center.